A capacitor is a device which can store charge and energy. Capacitors consist of two metal plates separated by an insulator or dielectric. They can charge up during normal use and discharge if there is a power failure. Various materials can be used as the dielectric, including paper, oil, polystyrene, or even air. When the capacitor is connected to a battery, electrons flow from the negative terminal to plate A of the capacitor. Electrons flow from plate B towards the positive terminal of the battery at the same rate. As more charge collects, the PD between the plates increases. When the plate PD is equal to the battery voltage, the charging current falls to zero, and the capacitor is said to be fully charged. Capacitance is a measure of how good a capacitor is at storing charge. It is defined as the charge stored per unit PD applied to the capacitor. The unit of capacitance is the farad. One farad is the capacitance when a charge of one coulomb is stored per volt applied. It is possible to calculate the energy stored in a capacitor if it is remembered that, at all times, the charge on the capacitor is proportional to the PD across the plates. The energy stored by the capacitor is equal to the work done when charging the plates. In the circuit shown, we shall assume that the capacitor is initially discharged. In this case, the voltage across the plates, Vc, equals zero. At the instant the switch contact is closed, the full battery voltage, Vb, appears across the resistor, and initial current equal to Vb over R will flow. Current is charge in motion. The current flowing through the resistor is charge flowing towards the capacitor's plates. The result is that a potential difference starts to build up across the plates of the capacitor. Vc is no longer equal to zero. As there is now a potential difference across the plates of the capacitor, the potential difference across the resistor, Vr, reduces. The current flowing, I, equals Vb over R. The current reduces, but it is still flowing. The potential difference across the capacitor continues to increase. The current undergoes an exponential decay with time. What affects the rate of decay? Intuitively, we can see that if R is big, small current will flow and the potential difference across the capacitor will build up more slowly. I0 is smaller if R is big, but decay is slower. If C is bigger, more charge needs to flow for a given change in the potential difference across the capacitor. Thus, the larger the capacitor, the slower the rate of decay. A discharge curve can be drawn using CR as the unit of time. Dimensionally, CR has the unit of seconds. Because the product CR is the dimensional equivalent of seconds and affects the rate of decay of the current, it is referred to as the time constant of a capacitative circuit. In one time constant, the current decays to 36.8% of its initial value. In five time constants, 
the current will decay to less than 1% of its original value. 5CR is sometimes referred to as the settling time of a capacitative circuit. The charge on a capacitor builds up gradually. As it does so, the potential difference across the capacitor increases. Just after the current begins to flow, that is, just after closing the switch, the potential difference across the capacitor increases quickly. As VC approaches the value of VB, it increases more slowly. The relationship between the potential difference across a capacitor and the time after charging commences is exponential and adheres to the formula shown here. These graphs show how the current and the potential differences across the resistor and capacitor vary with time in a circuit containing a charging capacitor. It is possible that you could be asked to make time the subject of the equations. A worked example is shown below. A charged capacitor will dissipate its stored energy in the form of heat if it is connected across a resistor. If the initial capacitor voltage is VC0, the initial current will be VC0 over R. The fact that charge flows through the resistor means that charge is lost by the capacitor. As the potential difference across the capacitor, V equals Q over C, it follows that the potential difference across the capacitor will fall. Notice that in this circuit, VC equals VR. Thus, if VC falls, so does VR, and the current reduces. During capacitor discharge, the potential difference across the capacitor, the potential difference across the resistor, and the current all undergo an exponential decay. When a capacitor is charged, there is an electric field set up between the plates. In a uniform field like the one between the plates of a capacitor, the potential difference per unit distance is numerically equal to the electric field strength.